We begin tonight in Jim Wills County where friends and family are mourning the loss of two women killed when wild hogs caused their vehicle to crash head on into a pickup truck. Our Michael Gibson takes a look at whether fatal wildlife accidents are a common occurrence in our area and also what officials say we can do to protect ourselves. I'm here along FM 2507 just outside of Alice where unfortunately two young women lost their lives along this roadway as they swerved to try to avoid some hogs that were in the roadway. They then collided with another vehicle head on. And right now, some of their friends are paying their respects. I knew both of them, yes I did. Um, they were very, they were very smart. They were very outgoing. I mean, they lit up the room, they did. Michelle Buenteo and her family came out here to the crash site to remember Criselda Ramirez and Crystal Boteo. Both Alice women were killed in that wreck on Tuesday evening. A large group of hogs were in the roadway and that's when disaster struck. For wildlife that's in the roadway, you wanna brake firmly, but not slam on your brakes. Don't attempt to swerve to avoid it because that's usually when we see the crashes occur is when people uh, swerve to avoid hitting wildlife. DPS Sergeant Harold Mallory tells 3 News that fatalities like this one are really rare. There have been two this year uh, in the Corpus District, so one in Aransas County with that alligator, and then this one last night in, uh, in Jim Wells County. I did try to look at some information from the last five years. I only found one other uh, crash like uh, involving wild animals on the road. While DPS continues to investigate this deadly wreck, Jim Wells County deputies were actually on the scene to assist them. County lawmen say many of these back roads are not lit at night. Plus, they can have deer or hogs all along the sides of the road or even on it. They're looking for that green grass on the side of the highways, on the side of the county roads, so they'll dash out without any warning. Wearing seat belts is crucial. Um, slowing down, observing everything on the side of the highways or the roadways because the weather is changing and so a lot of animals are coming closer to the roadway as well. DPS says the driver of this pickup truck who was hit head on was not wearing a seat belt he was airlifted to an area hospital. They also say that Crystal Boteo was also not wearing her seatbelt. Michael Gibson, 3 News.